G'day trainers and welcome back to another Pokemon Legends Arceus video. Today I'm going to show you how to capture one of the coolest Pokemon that has ever been created, Giratina. So to be able to catch Giratina, first you must have completed the main story. That means you need to have beaten both Volo and Giratina in those trainer battles. If you have not done those yet, I highly recommend you prepare because just catching strong Pokemon is not going to help. You are going to need to train your Pokemon up and if you can, definitely increase their effort levels. If you don't know what those are, I've got another video perfectly explaining how to raise those and very easily as well. Once you have completed the Volo and Giratina trainer battles, head back towards Jubilife Village. Once you get back to Jubilife Village, you'll start an encounter with Ress and Professor Labinton right near the front gate. They are going to mention that a giant shadow had crossed over the sky. The general consensus is this was Giratina. We're going to be setting off to try to find Giratina from this point. Now it's hinted at that Giratina is in the Cobalt Coastlands and this is completely correct. So what we're going to do, we're going to head over there and I'm going to show you where. Once we get to the Cobalt Coastlands, it won't matter what weather conditions are currently happening. It can be a thunderstorm, it can be perfectly sunny, it can be the middle of the night, it doesn't matter. What you do want to do is head over to here on the map. We're going to be going towards Turnback Cave, which is located in the Spring Park. This is where Giratina slumbers. So we're going to head there right now. Turnback Cave is going to be located right here in this little opening on top of the mountain. Once you get to the opening of the cave, before going through, if you haven't collected all of your unknown yet, there will be one sitting in a tree right here. For more information on the unknown, check out my unknown location guide. We are going to go straight into this cave. There'll be no messing around. Giratina is going to be sitting right inside this cave waiting for us and that battle will begin. Giratina will be starting off in its origin form, which means it is going to hit incredibly hard. Make sure your Pokemon can handle it because you need to survive until you can get it in that Pokeball. And there it is. Absolutely fascinating. Look at the sheer size of Giratina. Now, and I know a few of you are thinking it, but you can't just snipe it with a Pokeball from here. Let me show you. The Pokeball phases right through Giratina and there is no chance of capturing it without entering into a battle. Make sure you've got your team ready, make sure you've got lots of Pokeballs and let's begin. And there you have it, that really cool Giratina battle music again. Probably my single favourite piece of music in this entire game. Because Giratina is such a terrifyingly powerful Pokemon, I am going to try to lower its health first. I'm going to hit it with just a regular Shadow Ball, and hopefully that'll get us down to maybe halfway health, and then we can start trying to capture it. Fantastic, that was better than I'd wanted, uh, and that means we can start to hit in with the Pokeballs now. So we're going to go with a Gigaton Ball and hopefully these should be enough to capture it. And there we have it. Our first Gigaton Ball was able to capture Giratina. You found something shiny where Giratina was. You've obtained the Grissius Core. So when used on Giratina, this large glowing gem whirls with power and allows the Pokemon to change form. Now once you've successfully caught Giratina, we need to report back to Professor Laventon. Volo eventually returned and told me more about what happened at the Temple of Sinnoh. He said that Giratina, that it chose to protect the land of Haisue after discovering it was no match for you. He said that we should study it and add it to the Pokedex. He wandered off after that, saying this was probably the last time we would meet. But I can't help but feel he's far more invested in our completion of the Pokedex than he would have us know. And there we have it. That is how you get the quest for Giratina, where you find Giratina, how you can catch Giratina. Let me show you how to change Giratina's form. So we're going to use the Grissius Core on Giratina. And that's going to bring us back to the form of Giratina that we all know and love. Right there. You can do that back and forth depending on what your preference is. Alright trainers, 
thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you catch Giratina, and I can't wait to see what some of those amazing teams look like. Have a great day.